glad I pushed past that original wariness and reluctance to try something new. Everything, everything I found at Suppers was exactly what I needed. Um, the support, the freedom to experiment without judgment, without having other people say, oh, that didn't work. Well, maybe you should have just followed, you know, the plan. I think the piece that I missed about the non-judgment concept was about not judging myself. So diabetics, especially type 2 diabetes, um, a lot of the, the diseases that we're calling lifestyle diseases are met with society judging us before they know us. You have this diagnosis and because of that you you did this to yourself basically right you're you're lazy you made bad choices now you have to deal with it and I didn't um fully get the concept of not judging myself as a first point so luckily the people at suppers the suppers table um practiced that and helped me I mean I've been a member of suppers for 10 years so 10 years <laughs> to finally get the I don't have to judge myself because no one else is judging me. I would just encourage people to um, to come to suppers. However, we reshape ourselves in this new normal. It's it's going to be supportive and it's going to be productive and powerful for you. I needed suppers in my life. Not only did I I want it, but I needed it. A healthier way to eat and have a better relationship with food. And when I met Dor in 2017, she was intent on bringing the suppers programs to Trenton. She encouraged me to join the board of trustees and reach out to the black community. We started the Soulful Suppers program first. And that was um, a group of African-American women. We meet once a month and that was in 2018. And then we launched the Bethany House Suppers in my hometown, Trenton. And we meet once a month as well. And that was in 2019. And I'm concerned about the all too common diagnosis in the African-American community, such as diabetes, high blood pressure and heart conditions. For me, seeing the statistics and seeing the direct impact of those conditions is staggering. I had an uncle who just passed away and he was 59. He had so many health conditions and I wanted him so badly to join me in the Bethany house. He was less than a mile away from where we meet. And I, I had him try some of the recipes. He loved it. He loved it, absolutely loved it. So I truly believe we can do more together than we can apart. And we all deserve a seat at the table, regardless of our race, regardless of our social economic status. I live in a food desert and I see the disparities. I do. If I can help bridge the gap and bring this information to those that need it and want it, I'm here. I'm willing to take the time and make the effort. And we need to support one another in our intentions to lead a healthier life. So we need one another. And I will stand still long enough for someone else to get it. And we can all grow together. 